welcome. Today I have a couple of journals to share. They're a little bit different, but I thought I'd share them together because they're, they're small, so it won't be a long video. So I'm going to start with this one, which is more of a, of a traditional sort of junk journal, and then I'll show you the other one. So this one has, I just attached a little charm there and a very simple um, wraparound sorry silk closure and I didn't decorate the cover too much because or not at all really because um, I just thought this fabric was so pretty it has a little bit of a texture to it too it feels really really nice and um, I have not decorated this a lot because I just wanted I don't know I just wanted to make a quick um, journal that someone could use you know to decorate themselves so anyway having said that I did tuck a few things into some pockets here and there I put in a couple of tags the tags are from Tsunami Rose um, digital kits and I'll link her shop below because she has some beautiful things and I FYI I am on her design team so I just wanted to mention that um, I'll use some scrapbook paper, book pages, some, um, this is a gel print, um, sheet music. This is a faux postcard that I attached with a clip, and I'll show you a little bit closer that I thought was pretty. Hopefully you can see that. It's hard for me to see on the, on my camera. A book page, old invoice from 1898. <laughs> An eco print. This is a big flash card. Um, it's a Spanish one. Uh, book page, more gel printing, some dyed papers. I use mostly tea to dye. This is actually a copy of a gel, of a eco print. It's not a an actual eco print. It's, this is the center. I did um, sew this in with a five hole binding method so it's you know night very very secure just a little scrap of fabric i had laying around and i thought it would work in this journal with the colors and a little pocket with a little tag more of the eco print and these are obviously the other side of those papers beautiful old um pretty color uh, music paper. Oh, the, I, I forgot to say this is a copy also of a um, master board I made, which I made copies of because I plan to make this master board, which you then can cut up and make into other projects and also make copies of it like I did here to use in projects. So I thought that looked nice in this particular journal. That's the first signature. The second one, second signature. So as you can see, I, you know, I added a few little things. It's an Edith Holden book page. This is an eco print on a beautiful ledger from 1890, 1899, I think it says. Hard to read it. And anyway, so I added some really interesting and pretty pages. More gel print. Um, well, I'm... Uh, that's not embroidered. I'm not sure what that is. A little lace piece I had. It's a second signature middle. So anyway, like as you can see, there's lots of room to decorate and journal or whatever you want to do. And I was just trying to put this together, you know, fairly quickly and just pass it on to somebody. This is a faux library card. It's also from Tsunami Rose. These pieces like this are from a um, scrapbook kit, and I, I really don't remember what which one it is because I often take the covers off my scrapbook kits and uh, just you know have the pages loose. But anyway, that's that one. And then this one is more of an art journal, but you could certainly junk journal in it. It also has a fabric cover and a um, sorry silk. Um, let me move this out of the way. Closure, very simple. I don't know, I had this idea to make this journal. It has, it also has a nice feel to it. The fabric is smooth, cotton-like. It's not, um, it's, it doesn't have a texture to it, but it also feels really nice. So I had this idea to make a journal with um, 
some painted and stenciled papers inside of it, all kind of in the same colors. And so I put it together. I really love it, but um, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully somebody out there will love it. So uh, that's what I did. I just painted with the same colors, stenciled. Um, um, did a little bit of stamping, sort of, with the same colors, a little bit of scribbling. And then I thought it was too busy all together like that, so I in, I put in between each page that's painted some Kadi paper. It's K-H-A-D-I, Kadi paper. It's a handmade um, paper that I love using. It has a beautiful texture to it. It comes in different... Um, different weights so this is kind of a thinner one that's very flexible I really like that kind but it's still strong it's a strong piece of paper it's not real thin so anyway let me go through that this is one signature and here's the second signature it's very similar and I used by the way this is a mixed media paper so it's a good sturdy paper. You could add images on top of that. You could doodle some more. Whatever you want to do. And this is fabric and fabric, of course. And let me just quickly show you the measurements. I forgot about that. I have, me and rulers don't always get along. So it's about, um, it's about, wait a minute. Let me start with one. Oh my gosh. It's about seven and a half inches by about six and a half inches, thereabouts. It's got about a one inch spine. This one is a little bit taller. It's about, um, what is that, nine inches. I think this is probably about a six by nine. Yeah, six by nine. And it also has about a one inch spine. So I hope you like these two journals. And they'll be available in my Etsy shop. I forgot to say that, which I'll link below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.